What is going on, Crimson City? My name is Crimson Seabed, bringing you guys our Week 11 battle in GBA. Your Detroit Steel Wings are going up against Coach Z and the Columbus Chew. If you guys are excited, show some love on that like button down below. Show some love for the layout. You guys have been asking for it and asking for it and asking for it. So finally, we have a layout uh, that will hopefully uh, improve the quality of these league battles. We've got a question of the day. If you create your own Pokemon draft team, what would your name be? Let me know in the comment section down below as well. While you're down there scrolling around through the description, if you guys check it out, there will be a team builder for this battle so you guys can see what we're bringing and why we're bringing it, as well as checking out Coach Z's channel so you can check out their side of the battle as well. All that being said, I'm going to cut to where we connect and I'll be right back. All right, we are all connected. We got the music going. We see we got the six that we predicted in the team builder down below. Let's see what he is bringing. So he has the... We're not too far off. So he's got the Hippowdon. He's got the Sneasel. We see the Firo instead of the, instead of that. Hippowdon, Sneasel. We see the Porygon 2 instead of the Weezing. So we weren't too bad off. We weren't too bad off. Let me change this up here on the layout really quick for you guys. Because I know that's a, that's going to be a thing. If I don't change it on the layout. Um, and then the, what was it? The Porygon 2 instead of the Weezing. All right. There we go. So he does have a defogger on his team. Um, still enjoy leading off with Cathagrigus as always. Um, because if he pursuits, we, you know, get a get a get a big hit. Get her. We take a big hit from that thing. Um, I, I like I said, I anticipated Sneasel coming. I anticipated Sneasel coming. I'm gonna lead off with Cathagrigus right here. I believe that's the team. Firo, get powered on Porygon too. Yep, team's right on the layout. All right, cool. We're good. We're good. We're good. It is underway, the battle between the Detroit Steel Wings and Coach Z's Columbus Chew. Let's get it going. Let's see what he's got for me. Let's see what he's got for me. Uh, let me let me get my calculations open right here. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised with a Sneasel lead, to be completely honest. Arbiter. That's the Manaphy bat. We're going to lead off with Kirogiri. So we'll be able to knock off whatever item he's got. You can get up T-Spikes pretty freely as well. Um, what do I value more right now against his team? T-Spikes for the P2. I also want to knock off this thing's item. So I'm going to go for a knockoff right out of the gate here. He goes for the U-turn. So he does reveal U-turn on the Manaphy here. Let me know that has the hydration. All right. So recently I've went up against a Manaphy that had U-turn, and it was more of an AV set. So, um... This could be something. I would anticipate him to want to go out into Sneasel immediately. Uh, so we can knock off whatever item this thing did have. Um, and I'm assuming he would have the uh, inner focus. Oh, actually. Oh, he lets me. So he's going to trace my mummy. So P2 has trace. But we knock off that thing's Eviolite, which is really nice. Turn one. Couldn't have asked for a better turn of events right there. Um, so he's probably going to want to go for a Toxic or something, I feel like. He's probably want to go for a Toxic or something. I'm going to take this opportunity and get on my T-Spikes. He goes for the Toxic. He does have it. He misses the Toxic, which is unfortunate. Uh, we'll be able to get up our Toxic Spikes. And I kind of want to go for a second layer here just to wear down things like Hippowdon, Manaphy, Mega Gardevoir, all that good stuff. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a second layer here. He can toxic me all he wants. That's fine. It is absolutely fine by me. Goes to the toxic again. It connects it this time. Okay. Um, so we've got our two layers of T-Spikes up. We'll take a little bit of damage here, but this thing doesn't have an Eevee Light anymore, so... Um, really feel like just going out into something like Suicune now. Uh, would he double toxic? Would he double toxic is my question. So he's obviously faster than our Cathagrius, but we are a relaxed nature, um, which is negative speed. So I feel like Suicune comes in and I can go for a sub. Uh, Mega Gardevoir obviously is a huge issue, but after a Calm Mind, um, we'll take those Hyper Voices a little bit better. Obviously it's like what, base 160 special attack? 165. Obviously with the base 165 special attack, you know, we'd... <laughs> Nothing really takes those too well, but uh, we can go for um, we can go for one of them one of those things right there. Uh, removing the P2's Eviolite early on is very nice. I really enjoy that. That is uh, that is top tier. 
So I'll go out into Suicune. Um, like he can't try attack me. So he, if would he have Shadow Ball? We'll find out what he's got right now. We'll find out what he wants to go for. We can pressure him. He goes for the Thunderbolt. He does have the Thunderbolt. Okay. Which is doing a lot of damage to us. Did about 143. Um, I kind of want to click. I want to click substitute right here. I want to click substitute right here. If I'm being 100% honest. Thunderbolt's doing 30 to 36. If I can get plus one, it's got a chance to go for it. So I'm going to bank on him one to toxic this thing. I'm going to go for a sub right here. Um, if he goes for it, if he double Thunderbolts, there we go. There's the toxic. All right. So um, based off of his own special attack investments, uh, we can go for a Calm Mind right here. And Surf at plus one is going to be very nice damage on this thing. 30 to 36, depending on his spread. Um, and like I said, I'll just go for a Calm Mind. Uh, 21 to 25 percent Thunderbolt is doing. So if he gets a lower roll on that, I will be A-OK. -okay. Like I said, depending on his investment. Because we know he's not analytic. And he does not get... Okay, awesome. We're in a good spot right now. We're in a very good spot right now. I'll go for Call Mine with again. Thunderbolt will be able to break my sub, but it will not be able to break it once I sub up again on this thing. And the more especially bulky we are, the better we do against things like the Mega Gardevoir. Goes for the Thunderbolt, he'll be able to break my sub, that's fine. Um, I don't want to get too weak to where the Mega Gardevoir comes in and clicks Hyper Voice against me. I'll just sell up one more time. Because we're plus two. Surf is doing 40 to 48 to uh, P2 without its Eevee Light. And if it has no special defense investment, Surf has a chance to two-hit KO, which is really nice. But looking at his team, I mm, part of me thinks that the Hippowdon's like, this is his special wall. And then Hippowdon's like his physical check for something like Mega Drill or Infernape or something like that. Because I don't even know, um, uh, Mega Gardevoir. Like, Hyper Voice is doing 24 to 28. After another Call Mind, like, Mega Gardevoir is not even breaking this up. Not even doing that much. Do I just surf here? I'll call mine again. I'm going to get to plus three. Because a plus three hyper voice is doing 19 to 23. And I'll be able to get enough leftovers to live one of those. If he's max special attack timid. Goes to the Thunderbolt again. All right. So I will be able to click substitute one more time. And then I'll be able to go on the offensive with Suicune. Because we're at 113, we'll lose some of our health to the substitute. Um, and like I said, Psy Shock from Gardevoir can break our sub, but Hyper Void, if he's modest, will still live. So we're at 62 right now. It's 29%. All right, so I do want to check. Um, yeah, Hyper Voice doesn't even knock us out right now. Okay. I'll go for surfs now and knock this thing out. That is a speed death Porygon 2. Let me tell you right now. That is a speed death Porygon 2. So we're at 35. Breaks the sub. And I think, honestly, at this point, taking the Thunderbolt is better.
Yeah, I'll go for another surf here. This should knock him out with a higher roll. It does knock him out. All right, Porygon 2. Dies to Suicune. Uh, surf. And we are at 98. We are at 47% right now. Mm, substituting right there would have been the better play. I didn't want him to go for a recover. That was my only issue. Because he, he was pretty free to go for a recover if he wanted to keep 1v1ing me there. Borygon 2 is down. Um, Lycanroc is looking fantastic right now. Uh, Toxic Spikes up for Hippowdown will be really nice too. Toxic Spikes up for Hippowdown will be really, really nice. Because like I said, after, after a minute, Lycanroc just comes in and starts clicking moves. What are you going to to revenge me now? I'm a plus three Suicune at about half health. Depending on your... Sneasel set. There it is. There's the one. All right. Knockoff doesn't kill me. Knockoff doesn't kill me, which is what I was worried about. I'll go for a surf right here. There it is. All right, Sneasel went for knockoff. And Sneasel is gonna go down to Suicune Surf. Dies to Suicune Surf. All right. Suicune up to nothing. What do we got now? Phoenix, that's the Firo. Now, I wonder if you're just gonna go for the knockout here. I'm at 53 health. Firo. You do get Drill Run, don't you? You do get Drill Run now. I'm gonna go on to Cafagrius here. This thing knocks me out. He can defog. Um, if he defogs, then so be it. I'll be able to get T-Spikes up with Cafagrius. No issue. Sneasel's gone, so I don't really have a huge threat on my team anymore. Nothing really threatens me too much. I can spam Shadow Ball once the Fero goes down as well, which is really cool as well. I wonder if he prioritizes defogging these T-Spikes away, or if he prioritizes knocking out my Suicune. I think the Suicune is definitely more of the uh, more of the threat right here, which is why I'm going to double, or I'm going to go into Cafagrius right here. He goes for the Z-move. He goes for the Flyneum Z. Okay, this might knock out Cafagrius. This might not knock out Cafagrius, actually. I'm assuming this is Z-Fly. Uh, Flyneum Z. We tank. Cool. Cool. Um, I'm going to go into the Lycan Rock right here. I don't think he can touch me. I'm gonna make this safe play. I'm gonna go Kangaskhan right here. I'm gonna go Kangaskhan for and see what he has. I'm assuming that was Fly. I'd love to see Drill Run right here. Yep. That's why I didn't want to go for that. 
And he misses the drill run as well, too. Um... I'll just go for a facade. I'll just damage this thing. Because like I said, once this thing goes down, I just spam Shadow Ball with uh, Cathagorgus. Goes for the Drill Peg. Oh, so it might have been Drill Peg, actually. That's some nice damage. We'll get our leftovers back. Now I'm going to double out in the Lycan Rock. He double drill runs, great play, great play. If he goes for a drill run right here, absolutely fantastic play, but I think drill rock is his play 100% of the time. Or drill peck, rather. Goes for the mirror move. All right. So, um, I think I come in and start clicking return now. What's my best way of hitting him out on? I'm pretty sure it's with... Yeah, return is my best play. I'll go for the return here. The mirror move, very interesting tech. I like it, he withdraws. Goes on to Bane, which is gonna be the Powdown. Powdown's also gonna give me, if he's Sandstream, he's gonna give me a Spadef boost too, which is really nice. All right, so he is Sandstream on the Powdown. That is some, oh, he is Helmet too. He is indeed Helmet. Um. I'll go out into Kangaskhan here. I'm assuming he has slack off if he has helmet. He's got the toxic. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Because now he just powers up my facade. Uh, and I can wish pass from this thing. Which is fine by me. We're going to be getting chipped down by that sand, unfortunately. Um, and actually, I kind of want to just click Facade, to be completely honest with you. Um, get Powed on. Wow, that's not doing anything. Hello? 22 to 26, really? I'm poisoned with Facade? That's crazy. I'll go for the Wish here. I'm anticipating a slack off from this thing. A hundred percent. So I can wish, hopefully pass into Suicune. Let me see Whirlwind. He's got the Earthquake too. Okay. That does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. So I think with toxic damage, he might need to go for a slack off here. Let me see if I can wish pass in a Suicune. I want to see if I can wish pass in a Suicune on the slack off. I'm assuming slack off. We've seen toxic and EQ so far. Go for the slack off or knock me out. Goes for the slack off. So we are able to wish pass in the Suicune, which is what I wanted. Uh, and Surf should be able to knock you out. We'll get Kangaskhan's wish. That'll bring us back up to a good amount of health. Toxic damage is going to wear him down, and Surf should be able to pick you off. I'll go for that right now. You can go into Manaphy. You can go into Gardevoir. He withdraws. Goes out in a dirge, which is going to be the Gardevoir. I use the Gardevoir. Okay. Toxic Poison, which is really, really cool. You can trace my... We do see the trace come off from the Gardevoir. Okay. So, before Mega Evolution, you're not going to appreciate this. You're not going to appreciate this surf. Not one bit. That's some solid damage, and the Sandstorm subsides. All right, so let me see here.
Um, it's gonna be hurting me. But I think I stay in. What am I at? 146, and I've got no more leftovers. So I'm at 70, so I'm gonna go for one surf right here. I'll go for one surf right here just to see how this plays out. Because I take a max special attack. I take either modest or that. It goes for the hyper voice, so we do see that come off. We take those. I can go for a surf, get a little bit more chip damage off on this thing, and then outside of Toxic Poison, I think we let Kafagargus go down. I'm gonna switch into Kefagrius. I'm gonna keep Suicune around. Sneasel's gone. Fero is pretty low. We've still got Lycanroc in the back. Goes for the Hyper Voice again. Knocks out Kefagrius. Okay. Dies to Mega Guard. Hyper Voice. All right. Guard kills. Kofag with voice. Um, I really want to go on a Tangela and get a kill. <clears throat> I really want to go on a Tangela and get a kill. I'm going to Tangela here. I want to, I want Tangela to get a kill. Because even if he goes Furo, mmm, think Sludge Bomb's the play. No, Giga Drain's the play. Giga Drain's the play here, 100 percent of the time. I can keep this thing around for hip out on too. I can also get this thing around for the Manaphy. All right. Tangela picking up a kill. Tangela kills guard with drain. So, Firo with Drill Peck obviously knocks me out. You're not banded. Uh, what was Firo at again? We might be out here living. Because Adam and Drill Peck does not knock me out from full. That's looking like Giga Drain two shots. Um, does Drill Run knock out Lycanroc? Drill Run, oh, that's level 100. I was about to say it was like, hello? Drill Run does not knock out Lycanroc, but it is a high crit ratio move. I live the drill pack. I'm gonna go for a Giga Drain here. He's thinking too. He's thinking too what he wants to go with. Tangela lives. Adamant drill pack from full. Goes for the drill run. All right. Giga Drain should knock him out. Giga Drain should knock him out. 
Come on, Ibarra. You got this. You got this. Give me that high roll, Ibarra. Give me that high roll, Ibarra. Yes, let's go, Tangela. Tangela kills Hero with Drain. Dies to Tangela Giga Drain. Let's go, Ibarra. Goes down to Arbiter, which is the Manaphy. So... Ice Beam knocks me out. Giga Drain does not knock him out. Okay. Um... I'm gonna sack Kangaskhan here. Ice Beam knocks me out 100% of the time. And I'd like to find out his item. He's already burned his Z-move too, so we know it's not Z-Manaphy. I was thinking to myself, I was like, what if he's like Z-Rain Dance on the Switch right now? But like, Ice Beam knocks me out 100% of the time. Part of me wants to say he's Scarf Manaphy. And depending on what he locks himself into, could suck. But he's only got the, the Manaphy and the Hippowdon left. Both of which are toxic. Both of which are severely toxic. Goes for the Ice Beam. Okay, so we do see Ice Beam come off from the Manaphy. Alright, Kangaskhan, Manaphy. Manaphy kills Kang with Ice Beam. Okay, so... If he is Scarf locked into that, like I think he is... Um, Lycanroc does 60 to 71 with Stone Edge, but I think I need to go for Return. I think he's Scarf Manaphy. Um... I almost want to go out into Suicune here. I'm at 21. Surf nor Ice Beam knocking me out. I think I'm going to go into Suicune here. I need to know if he's Scarf or not. Because I live... I'm going to go for a Call Mind. I need to know if he's Scarf or not. Scarf Manaphy still could, like, just run this run this team's fade, which I need to be careful about, because both my walls are gone. He goes for the Ice Beam. I'm pretty sure he's Scarf. All right, we're at 20. I'm at 9%, I live another Ice Beam. I can get two Signal Beams off into this thing. I'm almost positive he's Scarfed at this point. Uh, signal Beam does 22 to 26. I can fire off two of those and then it should be in range of Return from Lycanroc. Or Sucker Punch from Lycanroc. So he actually switches. Goes into Bane, okay. So Hippowdon, I don't think still wants this work. So I'm even just 23 to 27 of this thing. Yep. We're still living there. All right.
I'm gonna go for a serve here. If he doubles, so be it. He withdraws. The single beam would have been the great play right there. Goes back out in Arbiter, which he's gonna take. So he reset the toxic damage on this thing. Um, I'm gonna be able to get a hit off. He's gonna take Sandstorm and Toxic now, though. Okay. What is... So Suicune dies to Sand. Now, if Infernape comes in... Mach Punch is doing 20 to 24 to this thing. What about Accelerock? Accelerock's doing 36 to 42 to Manaphy. If he plays this right, he wins. If he plays this right, he wins right here with Scarf Manaphy. Because I'm going to Tangela to bait out the Ice Beam. But I just need him low enough for Sucker Punch on Lycanroc. And Tangela still takes a Scald, and he can't lock himself into one of those, because I still have the Sucker Punch on there. I'm going to go into Tangela, and I'm going to go, I'm going to double switch into Infernape. He goes for serve, he knocks out the Inferno, but he's taken more sand and more poison. And then I think I go into Lycanroc, and I double into Tangela. This is rough. This is rough. I thought Tangela had this, man. This Scarf, Scarf Manaphy. Ah! I'm almost positive he's Choice Scarfed at this point. I am almost so positive he was Choice Scarfed at this point. The one thing that blows my Tangela back. Because if he goes for Surf, I double into Tangela. And I click Giga Drain to knock out the... Um, I click Giga Drain to knock out the, the Hapowdon. And he can't knock me out with one move or the other with Manaphy. So I think Sucker Punch from Lycanroc wins. I'm gonna bait out the water move. Goes to the ice beam, okay. So we're gonna buff it by Sandstorm and he's gonna take toxic damage. Um. I'm honestly setting up rocks right now. I could chug this entire match away right now, but if I get more entry hazard damage on that Manaphy, I'll take it. And you're going to take some toxic damage. Does charcoal boosted flare blitz knock you out? Thirty-one to thirty-seven. Boy, howdy! I'm clicking flare blitz. All right. The Powdon dies. Infernape kills Hippo with Blitz. Sandstorm goes down. And I'm pretty sure I click Iron or Mach Punch now. Dies to Infernape. Flare Blitz. I'm pretty sure I click Mach Punch right now and Infernape wins the game. Because I got those rocks up, I'm pretty confident the Mog Punch knocks out right now, depending on your investment. Come on, Endeavor. 
Number two hero for a reason, baby. Number two hero, number one in our hearts. Come on, Endeavor. Come on. Come on. This mock punch picking it up determines whether or not we 3-0 three, three oh or 2-0. Come on. Come on, Endeavor. You got this. You got this, big guy. Come on. Iron Fist boosted mock punch. You got this. Number two, number two hero, number one in our hearts, Endeavor. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got this, big boy. You got this. Mock that punch. Mock that punch. Come on. Let's go, Endeavor! <laughs> Woo! -hoo! And your Detroit Ceilings are picking up a 3-0 win over the Columbus Chew. Let's go, baby. Oh, that was a scarf man if he right at the end there. That really had me. Oh my god, I was so worried. I was so worried. GG Coach Z. I will of course be sure to link his channel in the description down below so you guys can go check out his side of the battle. So you can hear about his plays, team builder, all that good stuff as well. Next week is the last week in the GBA. Your Detroit Stillings taking on Coach MV and the San Diego Chim Chargers. I'm really looking forward to this matchup. I hope you guys are too. All that being said, I want to remind you guys to be great and do great. I'm going to let this outro bang. I'm going to talk to you all soon. Later. <laughs>